the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. This usually brings a lot of joy hearing this. Matthew Perry yeah. passes away. What? I it know, didn't surprise I, me, Nathan. I know. I know that doesn't sound too great. But probably Drake, coming out that he way. He said himself yes. that when news of his death, if he dies young, this is what he wrote in his book, I think, it, people will be shocked but not surprised. The thing yeah, about it, true. and he that's was really 54 true. and that is young, um, and this is the thing. When you clean your life up, which it, by all reports he had, it's After so a very sad. long struggle, it's that's so right. It's so sad when that life beforehand obviously causes medical issues mm. that now in your sobriety... It bites you in the ass, and you can be relaxing in a spa after playing two hours of pickleball. Yeah, and then that's where it gets you. Like, yeah. I, I just, yeah, coming out of the other end. And that's right. Being sober and, and as he was. His struggle was so long. Was, you know, last night they were um, detailing how many times he'd been in rehab and how many times he'd re- relapsed, he spent, and they were extraordinary. Numbers. He spent nine million dollars yeah. on rehab. Unbelievable, yeah. I, I, like I said, I wasn't really surprised with it all. But, but Nath, one of the reflections which you have at this time is you were saying this morning to me um, how good his acting well, was. When you think mm. about watching Friends, he was the top notch. Yeah. Well, can I he talk, was very good. Can I talk about this? I was really shocked about this. Like, you know, you said I wasn't surprised but shocked because I was watching Friends as I pulled this article up. Yeah, that's very interesting. I was yeah. watching the episode where Chandler had broken up with Janice and he lied to her and said his company was sending him to Yemen. So then he goes to the <laughs> airport and then Janice has ta- gone to the airport with him and then he's going, OK, we'll see you later in the departure lounge. She goes, no, I'm going to wait to see the plane take off. <laughs> so then he had so to he buy to a to ticket Yemen. to Yemen. <laughs> and then he was saying to an old woman, can I stay with you when we get to <laughs> Yemen? <laughs> and I don't know. That, and that's what, that's what I was watching. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. And and looking at back, uh, you can read a lot of his book. You know, he, he yes. released he that was um, very autobiography. Frank in that book. When, when you read through the struggles that he has, he, he puts them in the timeline of Friends. Mm. So especially when he got married to Monica in Friends, that was a real high point of his show. Of, of of the that. show. But that's when he was looking to go into rehab because he hit rock bottom. But yet, when you look at the time period of that, mate. He did a bloody good job. Yeah. It never affected his performance from what we saw uh, in the final cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, right. I always liked him in that. I always told you how I have no time for Ross. Do you know what? Can I tell you right now, I'm re-watching Friends. David Schwimmer. Back back then, I think we're all too hard on Ross because okay. looking back now, Ross is bloody funny. Okay. And the comic I just think we didn't like him. Of all I don't of know them. why we didn't like him. Well, he sounded miserable all the yeah. time. Well, yeah, he was a bit whingy yes. whiny So that's the but character, now we're older though, not we, the actor. But now no. we're older and we relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Right. He's an depressive asshole. And now I'm like, oh, I completely get everything he's saying. <laughs> okay. I but, mean. yeah, I don't know. There's so many great stories about him. The, 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 the weird thing is, and I suppose timing, and, and they've got to, you know, everyone says something on their own time, but none of the original cast have come out and said anything yet on social media. Apparently there are reports that Lisa Kudrow is, Kudrow is completely shaken and she's... Um, looking to adopt his dog. Oh. oh. Yeah, mm. to take his dog with him. So, I don't know. But, yeah, no, yeah. no one's come out and said anything. Um, I'm sure they will. I'm sure that's just a timing thing. Interesting, though. When he was in Australia here in 2004, he flew over here to meet with the director about a movie that he was going to be starring. Anyway, the movie didn't pan out, but he was spotted over here at that time going into a CD store, and he walked out and he'd purchased Guy Sebastian and Shannon Knoll. <laughs> hey! Very Australian. He's obviously a massive Australian Idol fan. Mm-hmm. Is that, that what was it was? the year he came and thought, this is what Australian music is. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? I'll get the top two CDs in the country. And he did. Um, all right. P. Matthew Perry. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. My Mum, Your Dad season two premieres mm. tomorrow night at 7.30 on it's Channel sort 9. It's sort of like getting some pork on your fork, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well, something we'll get the opportunity for. Um, <laughs> the host with the most is, of course, Kate Langbrook, who joins us now. Morning, Kate. Hello, my friends. How Hi, are you? We're Kate. wonderful, Kate, actually. Hey, Kate, We're so. looking forward to this because it's um, it's always awkward TV. Super awkward. Mm. Yes. I, I heard you say that, Nathan. And yeah. you know what? A... a an absolutely incisive summation mm. of what happens when you nominate your single mum or your single dad mm, to go look Sam. for love. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Kate, mm. so I want to ask the question, right? So say if you're in the scenario where your parents' lives were in a position that you could have one of them on their, this show and yeah. the, 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 the children of course, watching what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're controlling yeah. it this year, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah they yet, really yet, are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, you're super invested as well, you know mm. what I mean? You really want to make sure that, you know, what's happening is good. How long down the line of your one of your parents hooking up with one of the other parents are you going to stop watching, Kate? Oh. 
you're asking how big a perv I am. Yeah, mm. yeah. With, uh, in relation yeah, to watching okay. your parents' sexual activities. <laughs> right, OK. Well, <laughs> this is very interesting because, of course, the kids, as Nat said, do have total control. Mm, so they can course. they can turn the, the, the remote off at any time. <laughs> and interestingly, most of them choose to persist and watch through oh. what I call... Peak fingers. Oh, you have oh, this hey, is my you point. Have to put your but hands this is on my point face. because because you've got a responsibility to know that it's happening okay, but yet you're the one watching it. Oh, yeah, what and do you also, do? Oh my god! And the kids are so like the kids have lent in so heavily on this, mm. like their commitment to making lot. sure that their parents like find someone and find the right person mm. is so strong yeah. that some of them even watch to see. If, oh, if it's don't. a nice kiss. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. Can, to be honest, and I know this, no, I know, and hopefully I ki- kids are at school by now, If once once your dad's got a stiffy, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to say, like, like, you need to stop well, watching. You need to stop. No, he can have it and he can use it. Go for gold. Oh, but you need no. to stop watching. Can I tell you, I have, <laughs> you know, I have loved these people and I have no, taken good. them under my cupid like mm. wing. I love that. And never once did the no. phrase have a stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> really? It was top of the mind, though, surely. <laughs> okay, when the kids are in control, does it mean that yes. sometimes they make choices that the parents wouldn't necessarily have made themselves and the parents aren't happy about that? Okay, very wise question. And interestingly, because the kids say, you know how it is when you meet someone and you like them, you're only seeing them one on one. Yes. Mm. But the kids actually get to see them in the full spectrum yes. of that social setting of yeah. the retreat where the parents are. Yeah. So they see things that their immediate parent is not seeing. Uh-huh. Sure. So, and then they have the power to intervene and yeah. go, you know what, Dad, or you know what, Mum, in one of these cases, I don't like this guy for you. I don't like what he said about you. Yeah, and this right. actually happens. It, that oh, actually happens. I like this, this because yes. that's the most frustrating thing about watching reality TV is when you're seeing all these side conversations yes. and it's never addressed in the main storyline. You're thinking, God, these people are making such stupid decisions because they don't have all the that's answers. Well, that's true. They're not like, privy and to of all course, the info. Nathan, mm. you know more about reality TV mm. than most. Mm. Yeah, mate. That's where I learned about stiffies. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you learn about them? Yeah. Oh, well, I know. It was late, yeah, bloomer. Yeah. It was late bloomer. Yeah. Uh, Kate, That's one thing, though, though, that you, you do see people get re- the rejection part, which kind of... Which is awfully yeah, harsh, yeah, isn't it? Cause oh, no, I, no, I, I couldn't watch my uh, parents the person, get rejected. And then, and then you're getting oh, marched out of a beautiful no. mansion, obviously. And you're on your bike and, and away you go. Well, what happens is, I mean... It, People who volunteer to come on this show and their kids have volunteered their parents, obviously with their consent, Mm, but it's very interesting that when you look at someone through eyes of love, (laughs) you maybe don't see their shortcomings, which Mm. is very lucky Mm. for humanity, isn't it? So (laughs) the kids, like, love their mum or their dad, and... It's only really within the context of this that sometimes they see what their shortcomings yeah, are. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And it's really hard. It's oh, so that's hard. that's sad. And then realising that, then real, watching that and realising, oh, this is the reason why mum and dad can't be with it, uh, uh, with someone and be <laughs> well, like, oh, yeah. that must be so sad. Yeah, I remember yeah, last year. Yeah, possibly, but oh. it also is part of the... It's part of growing up, isn't it, that when you realise that your parents are People. human and... Yes. and 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 not perfect. Not that's but, a really good I mean, point. Nathan's parents are perfect, but everybody else is <laughs> well, great. And that's how Nathan became perfect. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. It's so the apple doesn't fall far. No, yeah, doesn't. no, that is true. He does. He is obsessed with parking. Hey, <laughs> we do have um, we have a couple of West Aussie. Uh, well, I wouldn't say couples. Singles. There's a mum and yeah, yeah. mum and a daughter and a son and yeah. a mum. Yes, are, they, are we going to see anything work out okay for these people? Because geographically, for us to cling on to? geographically based, I they should cannot, both be together. Yeah. Well, I cannot tell you what happened. Mm. No. But geographic, geographically, it would make sense. It does. It? Yeah. Mm. So, and all we can hope for is that the system works. Mm. And at one point, I called my husband all excitedly, and I said to him, "It works. It works." <gasps> oh. I couldn't believe it. See, this I is what I mean. It, but it's very up 
uplifting and it's very heartwarming and you, it will give you everything. Well, not everything, Nathan. Not everything. <laughs> but it will give you tears. It will give you laughter. It will give you that slightly smug superiority. And also a lot of awkwardness. <laughs> yeah. I know. Awkwardness. But, yeah. I love it. Entertainment. It's, it's fabulous. It's do, the show's doing God's work, is what we're saying. Yeah. Well, it really is, and that, that makes me an angel. Yes, it, it really does. does. You are Kate, basically Congratulations. And that's exactly where we should leave it there. Angel yep. Kate Lungbrook, look at that. <laughs> My mum, your dad, <laughs> season lives. two premieres tomorrow night, 7.30 on Channel 9. Or you can check it out on 9 now as well. Kate Langbrook, it is always a pleasure. Oh, I love it. And also, this show's a perfect Halloween trick or treat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's go, a great Kate. link to a seasonal <laughs> holiday. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. See you. Bye, honey. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. My poor Sean for defending himself as soon as he it's walks in the studio. Oh, I have to. I have to with you two. You just get on the front. Yeah. All I did what was have you laugh, done? I should say. I was just what laughing. A, <laughs> what, what have you done? <laughs> what? I left my um, <laughs> styrofoam box from <laughs> our cardboard. breakfast on Friday. We don't do styrofoam and we don't want to ruin the environment completely. It's cardboard. So, so. Is there still food in there? <laughs> do you reckon? No, yeah, no, nah, I, mean, I, I, I had so. that yesterday, but I was, yeah. I was defending myself because I said I'm a dish pig generally. At, well, I am at my house. I'm the dish pig. And uh, when there's stuff outside on the table, I always take it to the kitchen. What's that there, then? <laughs> oh, it's a moment in time. We all have a one-off. I, I, I can't do that at my house because if I do that, then suddenly I turn around, I can turn back five seconds later and there's ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> and like if I leave, if I leave anything out, they and suddenly, I don't know what happens. And then next minute I turn around, and I turn around for like and count 20 seconds, I turn around and there's like, you know, a garbage can turned over. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm really bad. I have to keep like, because there is it's a... It's a very there slippery is a, slope. There is a pig living inside of me and if I unleash him it'll be disgusting. I have the pigs in my household so this is what happens at my <laughs> joint. I'll clean the kitchen in the morning because I'm up at Sparrow's Fart over the weekend yeah. and then everyone will come down and do their thing and they'll just they'll get their plates either leave them out or they'll put them in the sink but they cannot put them from in the, the sink dishwasher. into the dishwasher Sean, next door. Sean, as an adult, a functioning adult that mm. had a job I wouldn't do my dishes so much that stuff would cake on them and then I'd think, oh, well, because I didn't really have time to soak. I would throw them out and <laughs> buy a new set. <laughs> It's much After better. they sat in the you know the other you know the yeah. side of the sink you use and the other side of the sink you just chuck some <laughs> yeah. stuff in to leave it there. It would sit there, so then I'd like I put a tea towel over it like a like a burial yeah. sheet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah if anyone's coming there round. For probably month. Well the pendulum has swung a long, a long way the other way. Oh, like because yes, now Matt. you're like mm. extreme. Oh, so so much so a, that a knife, you use I wash it straight away. One plate. That's why that's because it could happen yeah, at so any time. He uses one plate and then it suddenly strikes him that he's wearing out one plate. And has to rotate the plates in the cupboard. That's, That's a what tip we're talking to single about. people. <laughs> tip to singies. Rotate your plates. Rotate your plates. Okay. Rotate your plates. Because otherwise, you'd have one yeah. really worn yeah. out plate. Because yeah. when, other when, you, when you die alone, your face has been eaten by cats. Um, and then someone finds you two weeks later on. When they go through your stuff and they're packing it up, when they go through your six plates that you have, I yeah. know you're, you're really shooting for the stars with the friends there. Um, <laughs> then when they go through it, they just see one worn out plate. Yeah. They go, oh, oh, that was sad, wasn't it? Oh. You don't want that. And, that, and also, they're <laughs> That's like, the only thing it's you know. so weird because they yeah. never That's owned it. a cat. Who <laughs> made his face? <laughs> they start circling after a while with the single. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. It's amazing to have Ali here with us this morning, alive. Mm, uh, yes. Ali, tell everyone what you went through. <laughs> no. You have to. No. Ali was so I, worried no. about... Yeah. I don't wish yeah, to be no. identified in this Why? story. <laughs> okay. No, 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 we no, won't no. identify. Okay, okay. okay. So, so this girl we work so with... This girl we work with this morning definitely got to not work. Ellie. And she said that someone was in the car park filming her as she was coming to work. Yeah, but were they, they that's weren't confronting. In the, they weren't in a stationary car. I wish to not speak about this. No, um, we're talking about you. We're talking about this girl we know. This girl we work with. Well, so, I don't know. So then what happened, You spoke to her too, didn't you? <laughs> so then what happened, Nathan? <laughs> and then, so then Ellie was like, oh, should I go down no, there? No, not Ellie. It's oh, just sorry. this girl <laughs> we work <laughs> with. <laughs> then Tanya said, um, <laughs> then Tanya was like, oh, my God, said, should oh, I no. go down and confront them? And I'm like, yeah, of course you should, like any female heroine. <laughs> yes, and I will come would, with you. you. And then yeah. so then we crouched down by the window and we're looking and we're surveilling them back while they were surveilling us. So by the window. They still out there? Here. Yeah. Was that? They, they, they were still out there. They were there. still out there by the time that we had left. Um, because still Tanya, filming? was it? <laughs> Tanya, yeah, we're calling it Tanya. Tanya said, oh, well, uh, Tanya just had to go and um, write the news. <laughs> <laughs> 
It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I wasn't you. It was Tanya. It wasn't me. Tanya. Pres- so, Pres- what's the upshot of the story? Was she being surveilled or not? We didn't get to it because Tanya had to um, go and <laughs> wash the, the dishes. <laughs> Because that's what she's employed here. So today. she was quite concerned, but not enough to stop what she was doing. Why won't, yeah. Tan- why won't Tanya put her story across so we can actually understand exactly well, what Well, it's going to bite Tanya in the ass because now the murderer's got the footage to kill up. So <laughs> there you go. I'm taking Dougie's car to work tomorrow. <laughs> why? It's got why? nothing to do with you. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.